Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So the reason why I don't do my coffee talks in my apartment is basically because I had to get out of my apartment. I just literally felt trapped. Like, I don't know, it's been like really weird weather. It's been like raining and like a little bit of sun. And you know, when you're staying inside all day and you kind of get this feeling like you don't want to do a lot of stuff but you have so much stuff to do and like, I was literally just getting like a little bit of like anxiety. So I shared my little spot with you guys already a week ago. And here we are again <laughs> on the pier. But this time, um, yeah, we're a little bit uh, at the end of the day. Sometimes you just want to like wash off your day or just like get everything or let everything go and just have like the wind through your hairs. And this is actually something I wanted to, yeah, talk about with you guys today. Um, it's like anxiety or like when you're not feeling like comfortable in your own skin. I don't know really, what is that noise? Oh, sorry guys. Um, yeah, because I feel like it's such like a big topic right now and a lot of people don't even speak about it and you hear it all the time, people having anxiety, people having problems, people leaving the house or people staying inside the house all day. And until I would say maybe like half a year ago, I never deal with anxiety. I was always super chilled and even like friends set me down and they were like, are you like take, keeping everything for yourself? Are you just not sharing anything? Or are there really no issues you're struggling with? And I was like, well, not really. But until like half a year ago, I spent more time in New York City. I, I used to like travel a lot and now I'm like more in the city. I work a lot here and I don't know, I just feel I'm more like a countryside girl and I need nature and quiet from time to time. And just being in New York City is just so crazy. There's like constantly noise like this rain on the background. There are always cars, there are like sirens and um also i've been working on so many different projects and i don't know i th i remember the first time i think it was in amsterdam and then like i kind of got this like my heart was like bouncing and i was just like oh my god what is this feeling and a friend of mine was like oh that's probably how you feel when you have anxiety and the weird thing is that we all we all feel anxiety in our own different way people some people get very introverted, some people um, start to panic, some people get very quiet, some people feel something like on their breast and I don't know. I always feel like I get very tense like in my shoulders, uh, my appetite goes away, like that's really weird. If my appetite goes away that's like not a good sign. And oof, this is a very sharp sign. Um, and yeah, so lately what I have been doing really is just in the morning kind of like put your alarm like 30 minutes earlier and just wake up early take some time for yourself uh, don't put your phone on don't do work stuff don't do school stuff just do something to relax maybe it's meditation maybe it is maybe it is going for a walk or maybe it's just making time for your favorite breakfast and I feel that like moment in the morning is so important to kind of get like grounded for the day I love to do like Pilates or literally just wake up and have tea and just like maybe talk with Max or you know and I really notice that helps me like throughout the whole day and then during the day when I feel like I get overwhelmed or when I get stressed because yes I do you know um, I like to go for a walk um, especially here in Brooklyn like at the end of the day or I sit on the balcony and I just like you know enjoy and I'm not like on social media now I am but this is different because I'm connecting with you guys also what I've been trying lately is CBD which has been very helpful for me um, just like the little gummies it makes me just a little bit more relaxed 
and I don't do I don't take it every day you know because I feel once I take it every day I'm gonna get used to it and uh, I don't want to be dependent on it uh, I take it if I feel I need it and I don't know how that is for you guys like how often you feel anxiety or if you have anxiety and about what for me it's mostly like I think it's stress related and it's very much about work in a way that I could be better with time management I feel if I plan everything out a little bit better I will get more organized um, I'm very much of like a to-do list person so I make like to-do lists all the time that really helps me as well like every day but if something last minute comes up which is very often at, with my job I kind of get like freaked out because I was like oh I didn't plan that in my to-do list like that and I don't know it sounds maybe a little bit a little bit autistic in that way but yeah I feel that's something I have to work all on like time management and even if I have a busy day just like not freak out before it starts like very often I'm making it such a big deal in my head like oh my god today I'm having such a busy day I'm having a busy day and then like I'm halfway through the day and I'm like this is not a bad what I'm like worrying about and yeah I think that's a big note to myself and maybe you guys could learn from that as well to like make to-do lists plan everything out and I feel when everything is planned out you have just more rest and everything will go much smoother and yeah I mean this is in my work and also kind of in my personal life because I feel I'm super busy and I'm working a lot of different things I need to plan and make time and put time in my relations with my friends with my relationship with family back home and that is so important to me and that will always be very important so now I just say to myself okay no time is no priority so if you prioritize something you can always find a way to make time for it um, so yeah I feel I've been like learning a lot over the last few months about myself and how to handle all these things and it's going in the right direction but sometimes I do need to like kind of I don't know chill out I would say <laughs> have a cup of tea or have uh, a cup of coffee actually also something i've been looking into recently as well is looking into like certain food and drinks which can like calm you down in a natural way um i found ashwagandha as a root and it's a little it, you can take it as like a little vitamin they also put it in some uh, supplements and it's a stress reducing uh ingredient so that's something like you can look for also if you go to bed like take chamomile tea instead of like green teas um, i honestly don't really feel that like caffeine affects me just the first one in the morning actually uh, the first coffee in the morning on the first march in the morning really wakes me up and then after i can have like an espresso and i can go to bed but i do know that a lot of people can't and i can't a lot of people don't so that's something to think about Okay, there was literally a photo shoot going on next to me, some Spanish uh, Spanish couple and the guy literally, while I was talking to you guys, sits next to me, he's like talking in Spanish super loud and I was just like, okay, are you almost done? Do you have the shot? But I think they're still, I think they're still shooting. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching like this little talk with me. Um, and I can't wait to share all my new adventures with you guys and I will keep you all updated on what everything's going on. And please leave me a comment down below about things what are stressing you out or be open about what you have anxiety about and maybe we can all help each other out. And I have all hair in my face. <laughs> bye bye guys.